I've been getting a lot more into fantasy this year. Congrats. I feel like I'm in a lot more big money league, so yeah. I need to figure out who the hell I'm staying away from. Like, obviously, you have your guys that yeah. you want. It's just as important to know who you got to stay away from. How long did you think it took to, like, uh, all this research? Like, well, all the time? week? I don't know. Oh, wow. So that's oh, was, I was wow. just, like, okay. researching the last week or so. Jeez. And, like, when we went to the expo, I was talking to a bunch of experts about this, like, fantasy football experts. So. I couldn't tell you the last time I researched anything for a week. The guy, you know, he's won the Heisman. He's, he's led the league in rushing. I mean, MVP year. This guy's absolute stud. Don't draft him. Welcome back to another episode of Cats Off, presented by, by Better. Better. It's Friday, August 23rd. Friday. Wow, we're close to the fucking season. I cannot wait. I can smell it. Yeah. I what can does smell it. Smell like? it. What is it? <clears throat> it smells like college football is being played this weekend, Woo! which is the first baby step, the first baby step towards the NFL being back. I yep. can't wait to be up at like 2 a.m. with Hawaii, like, Minus thirty eight, just pumping against Delaware. State. Is that Delaware spread? State missed their flight? Yeah. No way. Yeah, they missed They're their flight from JFK. Hour flight to oh, Honolulu. Oh, take to take the spread. Take, take Hawaii. I, to oh, cover. I was going to take Hawaii regardless because yeah, if, if you're regardless. if there's a week zero Hawaii game in Hawaii and you're not taking Hawaii spread, I I'm think you're a communist. Right I'm I feel do like that that's right kind of fun. Well, if you do live in Ohio, you could obviously now take that in uh, on the better sports book. So that's pretty cool. I reckon, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if you are not in Ohio Sorry, and you do want to still get in on the action for college football week zero, download better, play better picks. College football lineups are available. Right yeah, now. they definitely have, have the Florida State picks. game. I know that, 100%. Florida State, Georgia Tech so is up fun. there. That'll be fun. No, I, dude, the, God, Tyco. Hawaii Talks game? I know you're, you're huge to Jen. Like, I have, how much are you going to throw on Hawaii minus 38? Is uh, that the line? Probably a little yeah. bit too much. Probably, probably like five units. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're going, you're going you five now. units? I might go five. No, yeah, I think five units. First, first Tell bigger, me I better go five units. May I, may I interject with something? <laughs> may <alone>. I? <laughs> <laughs> he just plays it. <laughs> just hey, deposited. Hey, hey, gentlemen, may I interject with something? We were talking a little bit off the pot, but I think we should make it very public okay. and congratulate Tycho. On? We had a great night last night. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank Psycho. you. I appreciate it. I honestly would like to thank my friends, my family, the community. Is she coming to dinner Friday? Whoa. 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 <laughs> One, I didn't know if I was still allowed to invite her. Two, she's coming to the I didn't even boat. know we were going to say wait, that. I wait, thought we were going to leave it open. Are you about to do a second date at fucking Komodo? And it's yeah, out the he back. is. Yeah. yeah, he is. Good if for you. you do that, no. I, and I'll then have no the next I'll, day. I'm sorry, no. If you do that, I'll have no respect for you. Whoa. Whoa. That That's the biggest douchebag tool move ever if you're going to pay for her fucking Komodo dinner second date. Okay. Well, since okay. we're going... Don't to... set that expectation up there, King. Hey, you, hey, you... hey. Hold new, on. New all, right, all right. Dinner last night was more expensive than Komodo. All right. Jack really? took it so oh, much. Oh, 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 Who the fuck are you, money bags? <laughs> Jack, took it, Jack took it somewhere where I didn't want to go. Jack, where okay. did you go last night? Uh, I just went to dinner, man. And that's why he feels that way. Hey, you do you, all right? You do what you want to fucking do. You want to go to Komodo? Go to fucking Komodo. All right? Uh, yeah. I support you spending money. Oh, look who it is. What is this James? Guy? What's, What's up, up, James? What's up, big dog? What's going on, bud? Yellowy died. Shut, Whoa, the, fuck shut up. the fuck up. Your guy's fish died. Did any of our fish died. the last few days? You did? Yellowy's dead? So our fish? Oh, God, wait. That's James's fish, but Pinky's James, still alive? James, you were the one that... <laughs> For right, those, now, now it's you v me. Hold on. For those for those that do not know what's going on, handshake bets has been. It's been a month since they've been alive. Yeah, they've been, been alive for a while. Parenting now. a few uh, three fish. glow in the dark fish here at the office, and they've lasted a month. And it appears there's, that well, James greeny, who just walked into pinky, our studio has told us that the fish has died. We'll be having a funeral. Mm -hmm. Okay, there will be a funeral. Funeral. I appreciate I'll, I'll go that. get my 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 suit. Please, please all black. Yeah. yeah. 100%. Okay. Yeah. Can't okay. make that happen. Before we jumped off the college football talk and we went into my personal dating life, can we go back to college football really yeah, quick? Yeah, I, I actually yeah, was bad as yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, The shit ass sports book that is only available in Florida, no lines listed for this Delaware wow. State of Hawaii. No game. Way. Oh, interesting. Um, in the other game on that day, FSU, Georgia Tech, I love <clears throat> FSU. I love what I'm seeing. Out is Georgia Tech this year. still triple option? Georgia no, Stack. but they they have a they have a kid though. They, that quarterback they got can a guy. Play. He yeah. can play. You Minus like forty and a half. It changed. You like time. FSU a lot though, because I might take that. I so. love FSU. Okay. All right, Adam, you Sorry. want to pivot? I have almost uh, twenty units on FSU. Ten and a half. <laughs> Uh, ten and a half. Okay, yeah. I'm putting fifty on. You it. see, 20, I'm gonna take Georgia Tech. I was gonna that. pivot and say yet again that. Caps off merch is officially live. Oh, yeah, oh. it is. It is, yeah. And it's been a couple days, and it's been selling a shit ton. And so we'd like you to – also, if you're on TikTok, if you're watching or listening anywhere, go to the bio. Go buy something. Tycho, you have an announcement about our merch? Um, Can I get a, can I buy a hat today? You can buy a hat today. I have uh, a hat on me, actually, perfect, right perfect. now. The Caps off hat. 
It's pretty sick. Any hoozle. Uh, this is one of my favorite episodes because uh, I get to nerd out. And now that I have another nerd on the yes, podcast with me, uh, we get to both nerd out. This is the fantasy football episode. Yeah. This is the time where we get to talk about shit when it comes to fantasy. And holy shit. I checked last night. I'm in eight leagues. You're in eight leagues? Why are you in eight leagues? I'm in what? six. I'm in six. I think I'm in five. Five or six. Six is, four is the right number. Five is too much. Six I've never done before. I'll so. be honest, it's the first time I actually felt anxiety about fantasy. I like saw my like my rankings. Dude, it's not even are you on the same site? No, By actually way, two it, of them are going to sleeper and I'm it's like not, freaking out. It's I'm not going to be it fun at all because like you're going to be basically rooting for and against every player in the NFL. No, you just, you get, you get used to it. Yeah, you, that I agree with you. And also the other thing too, which we'll get into, you tend to have some guys that you Overlap. go and get and then yeah. you have on four out of your six Oh, teams. I, I yeah. have guys that I'm going to Yeah, that so you want to make yeah. sure you at least have some overlap. Pat, you want to let people know what we're going to be talking about today? Um, oh. At well, least the first thing the, that you just the, mentioned. The first thing that we're going to be talking about is my guys. Everyone has them. It's your three guys that you want the most or need to have mm. on your and fantasy It doesn't matter if you reach team. for them. You're doesn't dead. matter whatever their ADP they is. They are your guy. Wherever you want to go and get them, it was the right pick. Yeah. I also asked a bunch of people to write in some questions, so we're also oh, going to really? answer a, uh, a ton of Instagram comments. Things that I feel that can be answered somewhat in a concise manner. This is going to be um, a crazy day for me, man, because you know how many mocks that I rip in general. Jack so. also has a do not draft list. And I mean, when I tell you Jack has done all the fucking research, I'm so proud of him because it's the first year that Jack has actually put in so much goddamn effort to find the people that you should not draft. So Jack's going to tell you he's, who not to draft this year. He's been talking about this for like, for a long like time. two or three weeks now. This well, I'm very crazy. bullish on these guys. Exactly. Like, yeah, 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 word, yeah. word, word, word. word. Like Thank, Great you. Word. Thank you. Shout Stocks. out. And then hey, last, shout out business Fifi. acumen. Shout out Fifi. And then last but not least, we may. May or may not rip a mock, but if we do not rip a mock, we're going to tell you how the first round of your fantasy football draft should go. Oh, hell yeah. In a 12-team PPR league, I think we know what we're talking about here, eh? What'd you say? Jack? I have done too many mocks. I've done Way so many, many mocks. I just do I them when a, I'm bored. I have like, a take on who should go first and who I'm picking first in my league. Yeah, so I don't know where you want to start, but we can start wherever the fuck you want. I, I would actually like to start... Where, where, what he just what brought I up, talking about. I desperately need feedback from anyone watching and listening to this. I have the first overall pick in two leagues. I don't want to take CMC first in both leagues because I think he's due for an injury. Oh Am I out God, of my spit mind? It, spit it out, spit it out. Am I out of my mind to take C.D. Lamb or B. John Robinson? By the way, I, I have the first overall pick in one of my fantasy leagues, and I'm 100% taking C.D. Lamb. Okay. And like, I know I'm the biggest Niners guy. I fucking That's love McCaffrey. He's my favorite football player of all time. I'm not taking McCaffrey first overall. I just can't do it. It's been two years with that, like you said, two years of that injury. I, I don't want it to happen, obviously, but I just feel like it is so due. Sorry, I spit out all that shit. Um, but like C.D. Lamb and Dak Prescott are both in contract years, so why would that you just, not I, take okay. C.D. Like Dak gonna want a fucking ball, put out crazy numbers. So is C.D. I feel like it makes the most sense, and C.D. also just. Kind of okay, cold. I need to. I I co-own one of the teams that I have first on, and I am texting him right now that the biggest Niners fan I know is not taking. Okay, CMC here's first. what I'm gonna say, yeah. and I'm gonna throw you for a loop. I am sorry, but CMC has to be the number one pick. No, now, he doesn't. I, I'll He's tell you. Get hurt. Just listen to me. I don't want the number one pick. I understand not people that want to draft Bijan or want to draft Brees Hall, but drafting at the 101. And we said it a few episodes episodes ago. It is the worst fucking pick in fantasy. You need to have the strongest conviction for one single player. I don't and have that conviction it, in CMC. I don't. We, At some point, which is what's happened the last two years, it's been CMC is going to get injured. At what point, outside of touches, are we just going to say, like, maybe he doesn't? No one is necessarily labeled injury prone. And I understand if you want to draft Brees Hall. I understand if you want to draft Bijan. But we are just projecting what we think is going to happen. I've seen CMC do it twice. I don't want the first pick at fucking all. But if I had the one, I'm just going to happen to go say, CMC, you're the guy. And if I get burned, I okay, better I'm, fucking have I'm Jordan scared, Mason scared, on my team. I'm scared Kyle Shanahan's going to like just feed the living shit out of him. No, I, I don't. Like, I, I, don't think he's gonna do, I think he's going to get less. Here, So just to circle back to my dilemma, since I have two uh, leagues that I have first overall in, what do you think about just like diversify my portfolio a bit? I take CMC in one league, and then in another one, I, I do something else. I like that. Like, I just can't. Like, if CMC goes down with a fucking hold injury on, on. and yeah. I took him first overall. In both, and, yeah, yeah. And then two leagues, they're very important to me. Like, they're both, like, big buy-in, like, leagues yeah. I've been in for a while. You can't, you I can't, care about them. You have to spread. You have I to can, If CMC went down with an injury and I'm left with uh, the 24th and 25th picks as my two best mm. players, I'm going to want to fucking die. Okay. PPR yeah. half. 
PPR full. 12 team? 12 team both. I think, yeah, I don't hate that, by the way. So then the conversation becomes, do you want a running back or a wide receiver? For me, the way I see it, I think it's way too fucking, like, and I just said it. At some point, CD and Jamar have to be bumped down in fantasy drafts because of this holdout. And it's not necessarily because I don't think a deal is going to get done. It's because at some point when you are not practicing and are not playing no, and are stupid, not getting reps. Stupid, stupid, Soft tissue injuries can happen. Stupid. And I don't want it to fucking happen, but oh. that's a, that's oh, you're a talking concern. Injuries. Now we're talking not just injuries, we're talking soft tissue well, no, here's injuries the thing. Yeah. could happen. You're talking that's far too hamstring. short term is why I was calling you stupid. You're not drafting for weeks one through six. You're drafting th- for weeks... 12 through 17. Yeah, but the, you're, 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 we're talking about the number one overall pick. You I better know. be there. No, you but show I, the fuck up. You don't want to draft CMC because you're afraid he won't show the fuck up. I'm scared he's going to get hurt. I'm terrified. He's already hurt. He's already got a calf strain. That too, I didn't even mention that. Yeah. I'm terrified of CMC. I might, t- I might not well, take him in either league. Theoretically, if it's solely based off of no injuries with the first overall pick, then Amon Ra has to be in consideration. Mm. He's the only one that's been able to stay healthy. And he ain't going number one. No, of course not. Well, I don't know. I I wish I had the fucking sixth. I love the seven, the six, the five. I hate the one. And the, the only two leagues that I have my draft order in right now, I got first overall in both. Okay, so yeah. here's what I'd say to answer your question. I think in one league, you have to go CMC. If you really want to diversify, diversify the portfolio, you can go CD, right? CD, to me, is the clear cut, no yeah. holdout, either the one or the two. If the Niners guy doesn't want to fucking draft that's CMC, that's fine. Very concerning. But then the conversation becomes Brees Hall or B. John Robinson. And Brees I Hall. am fucking sorry. I can't draft Brees Hall. Why? I cannot draft Brees Hall with the 101, given that, like, I know everyone's argument is, like, he finishes the RB2, and he had the worst fucking offensive line and everything. You'd rather draft Bijan than Brees? Pretty good argument. I'd rather draft Bijan, yes. Why? I hate the Jets. Okay, mm. fair. No, fair. Okay, I can but like, that. But, like, it, it, by the way, it's so clear-cut obvious, I feel like, that Brees is the better pick than Bijan. I don't. Like, I, it, eh. Why'd they draft Braylon Allen? Uh, dude, he wasn't he like a super late pick. But Braylon Allen is rounder. also in college was one of the better running backs. Uh, Braylon he's also Allen, 21. Braylon just, Allen's sick, but it, he's not going to steal touches from Brees Hall. Yeah. Brees Hall's going to get twenty touches a game. No fucking. No, I don't. I don't disagree. Braylon Allen's going to get six. I don't disagree with, I don't disagree with that at all. Braylon Allen's too. twenty. So like he has time. years I, until I, he's. Gonna I don't be. disagree at all, and I understand. I think I saw a stat that said Brees Hall had the least amount of touches within the five yard line last year. That's because we were never the top in the five yard backs. line. We were never there. Yeah, exactly. That would have gotten. I actually think we he had there. one. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Compared to all the running backs, he had one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, there's just something about knowing how public Raheem Morris has been about what he wants to give Bijan Robinson, and knowing how they're kind of going all in in Atlanta. That makes me rather take the gamble on Bijan. Yeah. I get Brees has shown it, but what Bijan was able to do with next to no touches compared to where they drafted him, I'd rather take Bijan than Brees, but I'm also a you Jets just a, uh, That, and yeah. you're also a Bijan just fucking slurper. I also... Yeah. They, you you, you I love... love him. Yeah. There's and, no problem with hating Jets in fantasy. I got zero issue with that. Yeah. It's, like, it's, it's why I can't draft Air Wilson, do, but yeah. I would love to. Because I, some of the highlights I saw fucking yesterday again, it's really were just, ridiculous. Oh yeah, he looks so sick. Let's move off the first overall pick, though. I, d- I don't want to take too okay, much so time Okay, so then I, I got a, then I got a question for you because I have some thoughts. Like, okay. What are the sweet spots in fantasy this year in the first round? So where would you want to draft and where would you not want to draft? Because I saw a stat that fuck last I year. Know. What? I was saying, fuck if I know. <laughs> well, Pat, 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 Pat. Pat. I've yeah, done yeah, enough yeah. mocks. I've done enough mocks. Last year, you know the spot that won the most championships? <clears throat> the 11. 12. Yep. The 12th pick in fantasy drafts last year won the most. Well, that, that, got, that got you like a Jameer Gibbs type guy, right? Well, well that got like, you really no, not that early. No, it got you two high end wide receivers. It yeah. got you Amon Ra. Amon Ra, yeah. CDs were on the yeah. back, right? You knew that there was projected volume. Yeah. In your mind, Pat, where would you say is the I, best? I, this year, want to be between the four and the eight. Um, I think there's a pretty steep drop off after eight in mm-hmm. terms of tier one, round one talent. So the top eight to me is clearly CMC, CD, Tyreek, Jamar. Justin Jefferson, Brees. Amon Ra, Brees, Bijan. Yeah. After that eight, it's it's the AJ Browns, the Pukas, the Jameer Gibbs, the Garrett Wilsons. Feel like there's a pretty pretty clear drop off there. Mm-hmm. Um, and then when you circle back to, if you're in the later half of that four to eight, you still got a chance to scoop up a really high end second round pick like a yeah. a Marvin Harrison. You get lucky and uh, Jonathan Taylor, Saquon drops all the way to that spot. So 
I don't like where I'm at at the top half of the draft, but all the fucking guys I see on TikTok are always saying the best spots to pick are one, two, three. Yeah. So what do I know? I just, one is, ugh, yuck. I hate well, it. Well, one, you have to decide who is the one guy, who is the That's best. I also so know what I hate the two, three turn also. Like you're, you're looking at guys like uh, Drake London, Devontae Adams, Josh Allen. It's I don't, not, I, I'll be I don't honest, love like, that Drake spot. London, by the way. I'll be honest. I think I want. I would want if I could have my pick of the litter. It's the fourth pick in this draft because yeah. I know that I can get a stud. I've I've seen them do it before, and then I don't think there's that much of a drop off from the one two turn as there is to the two three turn in wide receiver talent, right? Yeah. So I think there it's pretty fucking close. I also really don't mind this, and I've seen a couple mock drafts that have done this going RBRB and loading up on wide receivers. It's a terrifying position to be in because the top half has some elite wide receivers in that top eight picks. But if you were to fucking walk away with Bijan and then coming back and get another running back or an A-chan or something like that, like you could hammer wide receivers because the sweet spot in drafts is now four through six, which used to be the running back dead yeah. zone, and there are still a ton of running backs, but I don't hate it. So There's I, so many different ways to play I this I have year. not at all matured past the 2014 mindset of fantasy football. I'm going to have three running backs by the end of round five. <laughs> no fucking matter what. I'm not going to be the guy that week 10 rolls around, and I'm trotting out the commander's starting running back and hoping he gets 15 touches, and I can scrape by 10 points for my running back. I'm going to have yeah, two the, the guaranteed... I'm going to have two fucking guaranteed starters going into the playoffs, and because you can figure out wide receiver, you can hit on a round ten wide receiver. Yeah. You're far far less likely to hit on a round ten running back. So yeah. at the end of round five, you can bet your fucking ass I'm gonna have three running backs on my roster. I don't hate it. Yeah, I want pick four, but if you have pick eight, like you said, in a typical redraft league, there are top, there are eight guys in fantasy that I feel confident about. You could pick them out of a fucking hat. I don't. I'll take any single one of them, and then I'll just take best available. So. Yeah. If you're eight, I don't hate it at all because it takes all the pressure off of you. What's also fun, too, that I, I've done with the one in some mock drafts just to throw throw a wrench in it is I just take three running backs right off rip, and then it throws the entire draft into chaos. Really? Oh, and everyone's because, like, what's yeah, he doing? Everyone's he like, doing? oh, my God, I got to go get my running backs, I yeah, guess. Yeah, and, yeah. Then, and then you can get And then I come back, and like I, I still might have a Cooper Cup or a, a DK or a Neighbors. There's some guys. Oh, and then it's like wow. I got fucking CMC, Derrick Henry, and Pacheco, and then like, <laughs> Neighbors That's and crazy. Metcalf. Yeah. By the way, they're – the, the water receiver value in like rounds three through six, I, I do like it personally. I've found myself liking some of those guys yeah. in that range. So, anywho, let's get Jack back involved. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just kind of hanging out, man. You know, Jack, it's, you got any thoughts before we run into your do not draft list? Because I do want to hear I'm these. just like kind of soaking in the yeah, information. Yeah, trying to drink yeah. in some from, stuff. Here. From a guy that doesn't rip mocks. And, you know, I, by the way, super tempted to rip mocks. Uh -huh. They're but fun. I think I have to just like kind of stay put. And never rip a mock the rest of my life. Mm. It's There's a good. Uh, it's it's like people who haven't watched Game of Thrones yet. They're like, I haven't done it now. Why, why, why am I going to start yeah, at twenty seven? Yeah, yeah. It's it's like if I'm twenty seven years old, almost twenty eight. Yeah. I've never ripped a mock. I know I'm missing out. Now right? not. The I know time I'm missing out. Yeah. Don't need it anymore though. Yeah. It's fine. Don't you need might, a, don't need a mock. It's fine. No, I don't need a mock. Well, they're fun. Okay, they're fun. I'm not going to sit here and act like the mocks help. I I just enjoy doing them. Yeah, see, it's like uh, once you get in a draft room with human beings, it, everything and where people are actually drafting all goes for money, to shit. Yeah. everything goes to shit. Someone's gonna make the funny guy pick. Someone's gonna make the oh, I want Saquon Barkley with the seventh overall because I'm an Eagles fan. Like, it's, yeah, no, it's a, and you always gotta have fandom. Like, I'm, I, I'm glad I'm in a league with like a bunch of Bears fans. They're gonna get those. They're gonna get the Bears. Can, also, before you jump into yeah. it, I just thought about this and just want to pull the room, Tycho, because you're also very quiet out here. Yes. No, sorry, keep going. I just have a fun idea. Um, I feel. I feel that the standard redraft 12 team, no changes to anything, quarterback, two running backs, two wide receivers, and a flex is actually the worst way to play fantasy. Uh, what? Okay, you're just no, being a fucking now, fantasy yeah, no, elitist yeah, dickhead. Yeah, no, you're, you're Pat, you're, you just crossed the threshold where you and I were like vibing as the fantasy guys here, where now you're a fucking like, dork. And yeah, like, what you don't do you want, want like an extra flex or something? No, no. I want the same thing I've been playing since I was 10. Yeah. Why? Because, because that's what I know and love, and I'm comfortable. It's fun. I don't. I, like when we said we have a fucking super flex league for uh, for work, but I was like, "Superflex is vastly different." I'm not. But, I'm no, saying one like, flex. Like, just add another person. Why? To the why would you need to do that? I well, so this it's, is where I think you create balance uh, well, in any you, fucking league. No, but what's nice it's, about the the same thing is I don't have to re. I don't have to learn anything new year to year. It's I, I'm coming in with the same strategy I've come in with for is, fucking twelve what years. What is new about that? 
Well, if you said now you got an f- extra flex guy or a, it's a keeper That's or just a dynasty. That's one extra player that, that um, essentially would be on your bench, and now you could add whoever you want. You could nah. go to running backs. You could nah. go to nah. wide receivers. Nah. No. People hate change. No. no. See, yeah. What I are do. your thoughts, Tyco? I don't like change. I think, I think fantasy is great however you play as long as you're playing. Mm, and like, like, see, like, I know it is a boring answer, but like, if you like keeper or you like the 12-man redraft, like, keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. I don't think you should be like the police and be able to decide I that. I want to be the police. Yeah, you shouldn't see, be able like, to decide you, that. You just turned into a fantasy elitist asshole you there did. for a second. <laughs> you did for a second there. And like, I, I know it. you're in eight leagues, so you need to have something different. Like, yes. Not all of us are in eight leagues. Like, I'm fine with having four to that's six fair. of the same By the way, league, that's man. a very like, valid point. Yeah, I how much? Uh, how what's leagues? your what's your all in buy in for fantasy football this year? Oh, I have not. It's that I time want, of the year where the Venmos number. go out and you're like fucking yeah. broke. Yeah, there's a few Venmos in there. Oh, I think that's probably, why I'm broke right now. I'm sneaking yeah, up yeah, on. Yeah, not I'm probably gonna sneak up on a thousand bucks all in. I think. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I'm so. at least. I, I so, uh, I got second place in the league last year with all my buddies from home. And what was sick about that is that if you get second place, you either get to choose. To make your money back as a pain, or the next year, no buy-in. Oh, that, nice. that is nice. Like, that is nice. I was like, hey, you don't got to pay me out. Just fucking yeah. no buy-in next year. I'm playing for free this year. I like that. Which yeah. is sick. All right, Jack. So similar to what we were talking about, uh, you've done all the research. You've done all yeah. the work. You have a list of <laughs> do not draft guys this year. And I want to know, who are you telling people not to draft? Yeah. So uh, I, I've been getting a lot more into fantasy this year. Congrats. I feel like I'm in a lot more big money league. So yeah. I need to figure out who the hell I'm staying away from. Like, obviously, you have your guys that you want. It's just as important to know who you got to stay away from. So here are the five fantasy players to avoid this year. Before you jump into it, how how long did you think it took to, like, uh, all this research? Like, all the time? Week? I don't know. Oh, wow. I was was just, like, researching the last week or so. Jeez. And, like, when we went to the expo, I was talking to a bunch of experts about this, like, fantasy football experts. I couldn't tell you the last time I researched anything for a week. Wow. I just bored. I don't yeah, know. have at it. Let's hear. Yeah, about but it. here's the five fantasy players to avoid this year. Number one, Puka Nakua. Mm. I know we love Puka. Wow. We love Puka. He's one of the fair players in the league. Great hair, fun guy, cool dude. But just like I hate the value where he's mm-hmm. at. He's priced way too high. I think wow. Cooper yeah. Cup healthy this year. You know that's Matthew Stafford's favorite target. We've known that. Uh, I I just feel like where Puka is getting drafted, it's just not worth. The yeah. juice isn't worth the squeeze. That's a great analogy. Fantasy you know I mean? football guy Jack. Yeah, I love that. Before <laughs> love we go it. into number two, our merch is now live in the TikTok shop. Go buy it right now. Yeah. Caps off athletic department. And uh, number two, JJ McCarthy. So like I understand that he's got Justin Jefferson <laughs> to throw <laughs> to. You got Jordan Addison he out there. TJ hurt, Hawkinson. Right? I think he does. A lot of weapons, but uh, he had season-ending knee surgery. So oh. don't oh. draft JJ. <laughs> You're right. So You're just right. don't draft JJ McCarthy. Okay. Just by the way. Shit. Uh, I gotta number rethink my QB By strategy. the way, such a good point. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, he like he. You forget about the injuries. Well, I think yeah, his. Yeah. I think his. Him not playing this year because of his knee injury is going to limit his fantasy performance like yeah. drastically. Yeah. So you're not wrong. Like it's don't just, draft him. Don't draft no, him. Yeah, do not draft. Don't him. draft yeah, him. Yeah, I can't. Like I want to disagree. I like arguing, but I can't. Argue <laughs> that. I love you. No, I can't absolutely argue that. not. Oh man. Third guy, absolutely avoid is Henry Ruggs the third. So I, I yep. know the speed is super tempting. I, we saw him at Alabama. Tyreek Hill two point oh the, down, the downfield threat that that man can be. It, it's a great weapon to have. But, you know, I feel like the last couple of years he's had in the MPL, the National Prison League, just have not mm. gone as well as we expected. <laughs> you know, his quarterback just not the same. Maybe he's a quarterback merchant uh, in college. And the MPL, actually, the stats from that league are not applicable to oh. your ESPN Yahoo Sleeper Fantasy League this year. It's the first year. You need to be in the so NFL. So you just, you absolutely mm. shouldn't draft Henry Ruggs the third this year. I know the speed is there, but if if his points from the MPL aren't going to transfer over, get, you absolutely shouldn't tra- draft him this if year. If we could absolutely get Adam not. Sandler to play QB for Henry Ruggs oh, in prison, Paul then Crew? I think we, it's time yeah, to start thinking Crew. about drafting that, him. No, if we could get it, Paul Crew. I understand that if you're in a couple, I have a couple MPL fantasy leagues, okay. but you just... I don't know, man. It's just this is for NFL. <laughs> yep. So this yeah, you're is right. A little trickier. Okay, no Henry Ruggs. <laughs> it's so valid. It yeah. is. It's a good point. So number four, it's a guy you know. He's won the Heisman. He's he's led the league in rushing. I mean MVP year. This guy's absolute stud. OJ Simpson. Don't draft him. Um, <laughs> he's dead. He's de- he's dead. <laughs> yeah. He's Wait, what? He's Wait, you're, you just you finding out OJ Simpson's dead? You just found out he died. <laughs> Are you serious? He no died. way. He died months ago. Oh, he had an attack. <laughs> OJ's dead. <laughs> Are you guys sure? Yes, yes I'm sure. <laughs> He's you guys shit. Swear. You don't have to be bidding. I like. I, it, it's like no, now that you guys no are way. saying this seriously, like I, I, I do think it. it I, I probably saw it, but if you asked me I right saw now, it, bro, it was like a national holiday. He died like months ago. If you asked me point blank, it is OJ Simpson dead? April tenth. Nick Cassiano said a homer that day. April tenth, dead. 
Okay, so you were saying so don't yeah. draft him. So, don't, so draft. don't draft OJ Simpson. I yeah. know he's got the pedigree, everything you want to have in a running back, but he's not alive. Mm. So pretty tough. If you like uh, had to draft him, like what round are we looking? I mean, we're talking 14, 15 steal type yeah. type of thing okay. overall. Because you never know, like he no, could round. Jesus come come back type of deal. But I feel like not quite the same guy as Jesus, so I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. really see that mm. coming. Um, and know. number five, are you, are you writing this down anywhere? I, I have no, these. No, no, uh, so number five. This. Fancy player to avoid this year, Kadarius Tony. Uh, there's nothing wrong with him. He's just ass. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So just don't draft Kadarius Tony. He yep. fucking sucks at football. Yeah. yeah. He's so Thank bad. you so much. Yeah. So bad at football. Really good. Really good. Yeah. Really yeah. Good yeah. I got a lot, a lot to take from that, and I really, I, I might need to rip a mock draft right now to see how to implement that. Strategy. I swear, don't take OJ as far as he drops. Don't take him. Okay. Or Tim Tebow. <laughs> Okay. Don't take Tim Tebow. Bro. All right. All right. The MPL, though, that goes. We got to start. The National Prison League, dude, I'm telling you, I, it would, you'd fit, you put asses in seats you could outside the facility. Easily wow. fill a 53 man roster. 100%. 100%. Think, wow. about, think about who could be there. You could have Henry Ruggs, Ray Rice. <laughs> that was crazy. Hunt, that was Tyreek, crazy. maybe. Like, you got some guys. Tyreek, yeah. bro, chill. Yeah. <laughs> no, you got dogs. The, pre, the, all, the first team all prison. Dominic league. Lovett, Mizzou's receiver, who just got arrested. Ooh, uh, Aaron Hernandez, your tight end. Half of Georgia Dude, football. I would say all of Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like. Oh, man. Pat. Um, oh. Jack, by the way, good shit, bro. Thanks, yeah, man. I love that great. list. Also, I, I haven't been able to do it. I don't know about your shirt, but I want to shout out Max Loeb. Um, oh, yeah. Gave us the shirt at, that's at the sick expo. Shirt. Sick shirt. He also gave me a hoodie. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, I know mine, Jack, you got mine just stuff. says Chubb. On it. It's pretty funny. <laughs> it's pretty good. So shout out to Max. Gave us some gear. Uh, let's run into my guys. Let's talk oh, about yeah. our guys in fantasy, shall we? Go I've got get them. There are so many fucking question marks surrounding so many different players, such as OJ, Henry Ruggs, and <laughs> Kadarius Tony. So we're going to tell you who you need to get. The fact that you just put Kadarius Tony in the same sentence as those guys is crazy. Mine right. as well with how well they've he, he's just he's ass. played. No, like, he's played. I fantastic. have my guys. And guys, remember, when drafting my guys, ADP rankings, what everyone else thinks, does not matter in the slightest. It's your guy. Go get him when you want him. Okay. Can so, I just can I give one of my guys real quick? Oh yeah. Uh from everything we talked about with those fantasy football guys, Deontay Johnson. Yeah, you need love him. DJ. Need him. You love DJ. I just need him bad, so, man. There was a real good tweet. Uh, about DJ and it it was uh, like a yeah. meme and it's like girl who lost her memory falls in love with the same boyfriend and then it's me drafting Deontay Johnson every August. <laughs> yep. Yeah. See, I couldn't I couldn't react to that or anything in the group chat because that is my guy that yeah. I'm gonna draft. Yeah. Hundred percent. As it should be. <laughs> yeah, and he's gonna drop twenty five balls this year. Yep. All right. Well, Pat, I want to know who are your guys? Who are my guys? Your guys in fantasy this year? Who are the guys that you can't leave any drafts with? My without. My yeah, without. you have can't leave, can't leave without. without. Yep, 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 that's English. My easy guy number one is Cooper Cup. I yes. don't care that's how early you want to take yes, him. Pat. He if if Puka Nakua is going in the first round and Cooper Cup's going in the third round, don't take Puka. Just don't wait take for Puka. Cooper. Wait for Cooper. You could take Cooper in the second round, and I wouldn't judge you. He's fully healthy. Mm. They've said in the in training camp he is back to being Matt Stafford's guy. The last time he had a fully healthy season, he won the uh, receiver triple, triple crown. crown. Yeah. He had the most receptions, most touchdowns, most yards. He doesn't have That's to do that to make his drafting where he's going right now worth it. I'm, I would think about taking him in the second round. Are you I not worried about his age, if, you're, if you're late no, second round, I'm you're not. saying, what if you're early second round? Is that too early? Yeah, that's way too early. Okay, but if you're, if you're late, if you have the like the last four picks, think about it. If can you're I, at that 3-4 turn, you're saying hammer the fuck If he's there, I'm, I'm oh nuking him. Yeah. If can I get him fourth? in the third at like the 3-3? The, the, the three, three? You you could. Yeah. Like he's still, he's still going to be there. I, I feel could. like I feel like oh, so he'll I, be there. I think he's definitely. End, end you could get third. him at the end of the third. I have, oh, really? I have the one pick so like I'm hoping he falls down to that 2-3 wrap. I would not he, take him to the 2-3 by the way. The 2-3 wrap's a little bold to take him. I'm I'm being bold. He he will be there at the third first. I'm going to take him. He he could be there at the end of the at third. That's one of my guys. I well I think Pat, what you're saying is you have to you're you it doesn't matter what ADP is, but you are factoring in the value yes. of what you can get him. You for. should if, if you can get him at the end of the third round. But I'm not going to be able to get him at the end of the fourth. That's no, the thing. No chance. So that's why I got to yes. get him early. Third. And that's why he's your guy. So you got to yeah, get him when exactly. you when you can. Should I remind? Yeah, let's go back and forth. Let's go back and forth. So yeah. my number one guy that I need to leave fantasy drafts with. <sighs> Don't say it. No, I'm going to save it for the second one. <sighs> Thank God. Devon Achan. Yep. Oh, okay. Love it. Oh. I have no problem. Fantasy is about upside. Fantasy about. Winning league type upside. And Devon yes. Achan 
is the best fantasy point scoring running back of all time through his first 130 career touches. Did you take the 52 point game out of that? Because that definitely skews your No, favorite. that 100%. Okay, that's I know. 100%. I'm just saying. Yeah, I you know. want to know what's even crazier? <laughs> we talked about this stat before. In his one season where he missed seven games, he had more 40 points. 40 yard rushes than Reggie Bush had in 11 seasons. Okay, why do we got to do this to Reggie Bush? Yeah, well, you didn't have to do that. Give him the husband right. back. Let's move on. That, that, yeah, that, that's like totally what? Fine. No, I'm just that's. But we, come on, man. We know Reggie We've Bush. We've already loves 54% the hype. of A-chan's rushing production came on runs 15 plus yards, yeah. and they're splitting them out wide now. This I is a he's PPR be type of Actually, I'm fully out on Devon A-chan oh, now because you disrespected dude. Reggie Bush. Okay. I think that's <laughs> fucked up. Um, but Adam, totally right out. I think you and I are gonna like each other a lot throughout these my guys yeah. situation. Um, I said verbatim to my buddy what you said the other what you said right there. I was talking about Achan at the two three turn, which uh-huh. is bold. That, no, no, that's, but where, that's it where, is. where he's going. That's where he's going. Um, at the two three turn, and my buddy was like, "What if he doesn't hit?" He was like, "We need something more rock solid." I was like, "Buddy, I'm not playing to get in fourth place. I'm yeah, playing to win. Exactly. If we hit on Achan at the two three turn, and he's a top five running back, that's a league winning pick." I'm just, I'm just scared with Mostert too, low key. Sure. Like, I, don't see, know, I don't know what their plan is with him. See, I actually don't disagree with that at all. Yeah, I think Raheem Mostert is a guy that you can get late as fucking drafts and led behind CMC. He's a good hand. Led running backs in touchdowns. He's I was going to say, what's handcuff. your he's thought? I, what's your thought on drafting Mostert and Achan? To the same team. I don't w- obviously want to do it because I'm rooting for both. The value is a lot stronger on fucking Raheem Mostert. He's going to get touches within the goal, you know, within the five yard line. But the problem is, Achan is just too merchant. explosive to not give the ball to. He'll he's gonna win leagues. Now, Especially if you draft Achan though, offense. if you have Achan or you have Mostert, you need to have Jalen Wright handcuffed. They are going to give him touches. They drafted him. You have to give him touches. Yeah. I love A-Chan at the 2-3 turn. I think I'd be totally fine with him He also being my RB1 in fantasy. Mm-hmm. This is a guy that can win you weeks. And fantasy yep. is about, yes, you want floor, but you could surround him with yep. floor guys. He's a ceiling player. I love A-Chan. I'm taking him in every league I can get him. Yeah. Actually, um, no, you, you flipped me. Like him. Like him now. Yeah. Like him now. I actually didn't like... Ah, see, the Reggie Bush disrespect it's was okay, fucking man. out of left field. Is it disrespect if it's objectively... Yes, yeah, so you didn't no, have to bring his name. You didn't have to bring up Reggie Bush. Bush no, 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 but like, it's a comparison. It's a comparison. Well, no, hey, it's we also no, it's a comparison because league. Reggie Bush is like an electric. You expect him to have a lot of long runs in his career. No, but Reggie Bush, we knew he didn't pan out in the league, man. Now we got to bring that back up. Yeah. Like, come on. All right, my number two guy, and in a lot of the fantasy dorks don't like this guy, but I love him. It's Zamir White. He's, oh. No, dude, dude, dude. This guy <laughs> is built like a fucking Tonka truck. This man's country strong. His off-season program country consists like of that. moving hay and and feeding okay, horses. Yeah. Sold. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep. In the four games that he started at the end of last season, he averaged 20 touches per game, I think, something like that. And he was getting at least 100 total yards per game. If you can get him where, where he's going, which is the seventh or eighth round, going like seventy fifth overall is probably about where he mm. is. Get him as your third running back. This is a, a a high floor, high ceiling guy in my opinion. I think he he will get you ten points a game. And if you have an injury to one of your top two running backs, you can slide him into the RB two spot and rely on him to get you some points. He's not going to bust most weeks. Yeah. He's not going to boom a lot he's either. The only guy. He is the only guy in that backfield. They they signed Alexander Madison, but we mm. saw what he had as a lead back. It's not Ain't something shit, that impressed yeah. anyone. And Aiden O'Connell loves him. He said good things about Zamir White. I have the inside scoop. He liked him. He's going to get Aiden touches. It doesn't so matter no, he, per sources, but just per sources. Okay, yeah. Zamir White's going to get the ball a lot. Good. Love that. Love also, that. as first reported by Caps Off Podcast, Aiden O'Connell is going to start week two. Okay, buddy. Okay, that is a, not uh-huh. according to a story. All, All right. right. So my second guy that I need to walk around, walk away what? while walking around with okay. him. Okay, let's just start over. Nope. You guys want to be holding hands. Yep, I want to be holding hands. Jack knows exactly who's the who second guy you can't Jack, Who's your guy? Jack, would you like to answer this question for me or finish my sentence for me? Yeah. And I'm going to convince you why. No, I think I know where this um, is going. Adam's to. second guy that he can't walk away, he can't walk away from a draft without is Calvin Ridley. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Fuck you. Really? I was super high on Calvin Ridley last year. And? And, and obviously and, he didn't and pan he out. he lost me all my Listen, fucking leagues because I drafted him in every league. And Adam was so high on that goddamn Calvin Ridley. It's okay. It's okay. He it's had, in the past. I believe he had five top 12 finishes last year and was still bad. Dropped a ton of touchdown passes. Yes, he did. He was wide receiver 10 in fantasy points expected. So should have had a lot more oh, points. Fantasy <laughs> points listen, expected. Listen, gentlemen. That's not a real stat, is that? Expected fantasy points per game? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Exactly. Oh, my God. Guys, just let me just let me know. I expected him not let to be Let me guys the fuck out and tell you why Calvin Ridley. What nerds glasses Brian did you Callahan now stat? comes over from Cincinnati. 
pass heavy offense. D Hop is hurt and out. And Calvin Ridley thrives in the slot. He's playing in the slot a lot more. He's going in the seventh fucking round. And the most important thing in football, always follow the money. Some GM came out here and said, I'm going to pay this man like a top 10 wide receiver. They're going to give him the fucking ball. The no, other yeah. last part that we forget, hurt? just one last part, one last part to Calvin Ridley. We always talk about with injuries, right? We expect them to come back a year removed from an injury, right? But Calvin Ridley was out because he was suspended. Okay, he didn't yeah. play for a full fucking year. So why can't we keep that same energy with being like, it takes a year to get back to game, yeah. the actual speed of the game. Oh, and I think Calvin Ridley's going to do that. I, my guy, I'm not walking out of the seventh round or sixth round without Calvin Ridley. I want him in every single possible draft. And Jesus fact, Christ, that is how much he's making. Calvin Ridley's making a fuck ton of money. Four years, 92 million. We're going to leave this year, I think. Jesus. And shout out to the fantasy footballers for this day. You know, oh, We're going to leave this year saying that he was very similar to Mike Evans. Mike Evans went in the seventh <laughs> round last year. Mike Evans went in the seventh round last year. He was wide receiver 33. Calvin Ridley's going in the seventh round. He's wide receiver 37. I think Calvin Ridley is a guy that is going to be a lot higher there, given his production. There are some I teams' use. offenses that I want no part of, and the Titans are one of them. Adam, here's here's my thing with, okay. with that whole situation you just said. So, like, like oh, well, the Titans gave him a bunch of money, right? Like, some GM saw him said, this is the guy. Like, we, we have to pay this guy. He's so tough. You know, like the Titans have never been just a place where receivers go to die, right? Not, no, no way. Not with Andre Johnson or Randy Ma. Like, no, there's no way. Oh, those guys, those guys late, are though. awesome, man. Bro, it's a completely Titans. different front office, and they just brought over the man who was running the Cincinnati Bengals for fucking a few years I'm with just Jamar. Saying, just saying, what? I don't, I don't like. You don't the have free to take man. him. He's my I'm guy. In. I don't yeah. like a Titans He's free agent signing. I just don't. Just a, a complete side note, but on the Titans, does Will Levis have any running upside? Mm-hmm. I kind of like him as a he's, sleeper. He's, he's, a, he's a little scramble. Like if you like Will Levis, runs. then you like Calvin Ridley as a sleeper. No, I like Will Levis if he's going to run. <laughs> moving on <laughs> Moving on to my number three guy. And this one, it's it's. I'm going to reach so hard for this guy no oh, matter God. what. Um, it's Jaden Daniels. Yeah. It, yeah. it does yeah. not no. matter no. how early you take him. He will be a top seven quarterback. He's going to rush for 800 yards. You have to take a rushing quarterback. That is yeah. rule number one. Yep. I, I like Jaden Daniels more than I like Joe Burrow. I like Jaden Daniels more than I like C.J. Stroud. I like Jaden Daniels more than That's I like take. Pat Mahomes. I like they, it's You need to run the ball in fantasy as a quarterback to have high upside. Well, let me clarify what you're saying, which I, I, I don't know about the Mahomes one because they're going to put up fucking points. But there's that a one was a little crazy. That <laughs> was, there's oh, a yeah. floor. I, got, I, got, I, I was running out of guys, and then I said Mahomes. Rushing upside silly. will always give you a floor yeah. in fantasy. And when I see Jaden Daniels, because I do like this poll, I wonder why Anthony Richardson is going so high. We've seen two games of him. Yeah. We have literally seen this guy do nothing in football, and he's already going off the board as, what, the QB5 yeah. around that type of and range? We've seen those training camp videos. Sure, but Jaden Daniels is very similar to Anthony Richardson of last year. Well, that's what I was going to say. So you're, like, buying the, you're already buying. It's baked into the rookie fucking yeah. wall. I'm, I'm also like betting on the fact that Jaden Daniels isn't going to be a great thrower, and they're gonna. It's going to be like I think he will. I know, no, I know thrower. he's. But it's like it's the NFL. It's tougher. But I'm going to bet on like what Josh Allen was his rookie year, where they were like, okay, the the passing isn't all the way there yet. Let's we're going to run, run this like dude all over the fucking place yeah. because he's the best athlete we have on our team. I think Jaden Daniels will finish the season with close that. to a thousand rushing yards yeah. and like five or it. six rushing touchdowns. And then if he's a even close to average passer, he's going to be a top six quarterback. Yeah, I actually love that. I love it. And you can get him at like pick eighty. I love it. It's a great yeah. pull. I, I definitely my guy as well. Pat, I love can, your list. Can Thanks, we man. see what his uh, projection is on better picks for rushing? Yeah. Just because I'm curious. Yeah, that's a great call. It's a great call. Jaden. So Jay, you while you're looking it up for Jaden Daniels, I have um, a half and a half, and you could choose. I have a running back and a wide receiver. We okay. can go, and I'll be very yeah. quick with okay. it. But two guys that because I'm not when we say my guys, I'm not going to pull like Bijan fucking Robinson yeah. in the first round. I'm talking about guys at value, sure. and yes. these are two guys that I think are genuinely undervalued in Durham fantasy. Smythe. You want the wide receiver or the running back first? Wide receiver. Uh, wide receiver. The wide receiver I think that is super undervalued that is going to be one of my guys this year in fantasy is Tank Dell. Love, yeah, love down. Before Tank Dell got injured, he was leading the Texans in targets and fantasy points. And what ends up happening, not some random fucking injury where he plants wrong and tears his ACL. Damian fucking bumass Pierce oh. rolls. So, sorry. No, but he, he rolled up on his knee. So okay, that, yeah. that's his fault. That, that's totally his fault. Sorry, Jaden Daniels. What's yeah. his rushing line? It's 550.5. Take more than I am oh, nuking more that. Than, yeah. yeah. 
That's so high. <laughs> no, it's not. No, They're, I'm saying, but that's like a really high line. To I slide. know, yeah, for a yeah. quarterback, but still, I like that's, it. I like it though. Like he's gonna fucking run the going back ball. to Tank Dell though. I think Tank Dell is a guy that like we're, we're talking about the third wide receiver off the board in one of the more pass heavy offenses in the NFL. You can get him in the fifth fucking round. Tank Dell is someone that CJ Stroud absolutely loves. He's a deep ball threat. Asked him to draft him, remember? Yeah. I said, go draft him. We, what we forget is we talked to A-Chan. Like, we gotta, I need a guy that can win me a week, not a guy that can set a floor. Tank Dell is a ceiling play. Here's, I love him. I think Tank Dell's one of my guys. Uh, like, again, I said we were going to love each other, aside from the Calvin Ridley one. But this one I love, too, because in my mind, Tank Dell, Stefan Diggs, Nico Collins, same – Floor, same ceiling, but Tank Dell is just going 30 picks later than Nico Collins Agreed. and Stephon Diggs. Yeah. So it's like, why would I take Diggs or Nico Collins in the second and third round when I can wait to get Tank Dell in the fifth? Yep. When I, I genuinely believe he has the exact same ceiling as those two players. I, if I not agree. higher. I cannot if not agree. Higher. It's the price thing. Yeah. It's, Tank, Tank, Tank was the guy before he got hurt. He was so sick. Yeah. He was so good. I picked him up in like two leagues. He was, By the he way, was more so, I think, than Nico, like actually CJ's favorite target. He I was. would also, I, I get the Nico Collins type. I'd also probably take Diggs as well. Like the the price is way too high. I know Diggs is my least favorite of the three. That's fine. And the last my guy that I have is a running back going in the twelfth fucking round. It's Rico Dowdle, the running back for the Dallas fucking Cowboys. Okay, nobody talking about it. Yeah, training There's no camp, way Zeke's gonna be a starter. Training camp reports are saying Rico Dowdle's the RB one, and even if they do give Zeke the touches inside the fucking five, Rico Dowdle was top twenty in RB efficiency last year. Ugh. Tony Pollard was one of the most inefficient running backs and yeah. still had thirteen hundred total yards. Call, I love the potential in crazy. that offense. I also love Zeke. <laughs> I don't mind I, it for touchdowns. Oh. Dude, boy, he's, he's a running back on the top three offense in football. I agree. We're talking he's about He's going to have a lot of chances to get touchdowns. Yeah, yeah but listen yeah. to me. And yeah. like he's a big power back. Pat, but we're talking about floors here, right? Yeah. Love Zeke's floor. I totally agree. Going super late in drafts. But that's why I also love Rico Dowdle. Yeah. You could get a running back that could potentially be the RB1 in one of the best offenses Pass in the 12th back. fucking round. Yeah. And he's explosive. What? He's way more explosive. What are your guys' thoughts on Jalen Warren, by the way? I like him. <sighs> But I, I, I it, just I, I love I feel him. He's like great. he's due to be the starter. This I know, year, but right? it's just like, like you I don't, still have. I think that's two years of saying that, though. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. He has to be right. I think now. Najee's like, still going to be the starter. Ugh, I hate that backfield, I, man. I just like that. There's just it's very hard to. I, I I don't mind drafting either one of them. I'll be honest. Najee has looked good in preseason. Like I, I don't mind drafting either, but I wouldn't draft Jalen Warren being like he's going to be the RB one if I'm comparing it to a Rico Dowdle Zeke situation. Yeah. Rico's younger. Zeke's older. They gave money to Zeke. Zeke's going to get the ball inside the five. Rico Dowdle's the more explosive back. I like that situation a lot better. Wow. I, I have a quick fancy question for you guys because I was just curious about this. I was thinking about it earlier today. Which rookie receiver would you rather have in fantasy, Malik Neighbors or Marvin Harrison? Marvin Harrison. Malik. Mm-hmm. Value. Mm-hmm. I I can't get enough of Marvin Harrison. I, I think he's gonna like. I, I think he's care. gonna be. Disgusting. I know, but I I feel know like how there's... high he's going. He's going at the in the early second round. I I fucking love him there. I think he's gonna have a hundred catches, thirteen hundred yards. He I could. don't know a touchdown. I, but, but again, I, but mine so is, could Malik. Mine like, is is based off of the price. Like again, it makes sense with the price. But why are we baking Marvin Harrison Jr. who was the greatest wide picks? receiver of all time? No, but how many picks what? did he go before? He went one pick before fucking Malik Neighbors. Well, I'm, I'm, the reason I'm way higher on Marvin Harrison is the QB oh, play. You have Kyler Murray versus yeah, Daniel Jones. I don't think Daniel ball. Jones is that bad of a he, quarterback. Okay, he's that's not, where that's where we disagree. He's not that terrible. I don't he's, think like, he has a playoff ass. win. Like I don't think okay. he's that bad. So like They're gonna Mark force Sanchez. feed him. He's never force feed him. Daniel Jones has never had an actual talented wide receiver to play with in his entire career. Now Look, he has one. Again, the but. question is not necessarily like if I had to put if they were the same and they were going yeah. at the same spot, I would probably say, yeah, Marvin, because of the situation, the system. You have Kyler, you have Trey McBride to take pressure Who, off. Who's going to finish higher, like points wise? Marvin Harrison. Probably Marvin Harrison. Yeah. But I don't mind taking a gamble on Malik. I will take every rookie wide receiver I can. Oh, another guy, Lad McConkey. Yeah. I want him in every league. Love that. Love that. I got a hundred dollar bet with this bozo that Sick route uh Lad McConkey versus Joshua Palmer in receptions at the end of the year. Why are you such a Joshua Palmer guy? Because he was taking receptions from Keenan Allen and Mike Williams. He wasn't taking that many. All right. What? I want to do one last thing. He was a, he was a viable other, fantasy, yeah, other fantasy, fantasy things. Three. Um real quick I want I have one more thing, but okay. rapid fire. Name me a name me an offense that you want zero part of in fantasy football. You will not draft a player on that Patriots. team. Patriots. Patriots. Okay, yeah. Easy one there. I actually take it back. <laughs> I don't think there's a single offense that I don't want a part of, and I'll tell you why. I'll because tell you. I'll tell you mine that I guarantee you. Because don't want the a part game of. script for the Patriots are going to constantly be down. 
Someone's going to get opportunities. I like Jalen Polk. On I that. like Jalen Polk yeah, as Jaylen well. Polk. Javon Baker reports are coming out of camp that he has not been good at all. He's yeah. losing so time Polk's on the field. Jalen Polk's that motherfucker. And Pop he Douglas. He was that guy Pop, in Washington, too. So. Pop Douglas was that guy last year. So here's mine. This one's a hot take, and I, and I don't mean to offend Tycho. I don't want any piece of the Bears offense. There, I just don't know how they're going to go just, There's it. too yeah. me, too much talent. I don't think they're gonna. They're not gonna be a top ten scoring offense, like as as much talent as they have. Yeah. I can't imagine a world where DJ Moore, Keenan Allen, Roma Dunze, DeAndre Swift, Cole Komet, and Caleb Williams, Cleo Herbert too, like Cleo like. Herbert. I, I, there's just too many good players on the team for any one guy to stand out and be somebody. I, can win I could be league. okay with that and Caleb Williams. I, I, I could yeah, be okay with I could that. be okay with that as a as a flyer second quarter. But I, like, yeah, that receiver room, I want no part of. No part I mean, of it. I don't hate that at all. Yeah, I, I feel like I, I feel it. similarly. Like, I want I want all I can get personally, but I don't really? hate it. I, I feel no. similarly no. ish about the Texans too, just because I don't know how those three are gonna go. I feel like like they're going to be passing a shit ton. But that's why but I do like, want part. So the Texans, offense. that's where they're different for me. They will be a top ten offense. The Bears, we yeah. don't know. Like, no, that's the that's Texans fair. were last year. I want to play. Just like, are. how do you how do you pick between those three guys? Because like one of them is going to get tank. That's out. how you pick tank. I want to yeah. play one yeah. last game yeah. together uh, before we wrap up. We don't have much time left, but I've seen this all across the board on social media of how your first round in fantasy should go, and I want us to kind of dictate what the top twelve picks in fantasy should look like okay. together. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so. Here's what your fantasy first round should look like in a 12-team PPR league. Okay. All right? So, pick number one. CMC. I think it's got to be CMC. I'm it sorry. It does have to sure, be. Yeah. I'm sorry. It does have to be. Then it, Tyco, you writing this down? Pick number two. CD. CD Lamb. Uh, yeah. I think I just think it has to, regardless of the, the holdouts, like I talked about it earlier, you're still going to do that. You're yeah. still going to take a chance on CD, regardless of holding out, regardless of potential issues. I don't give a issues. fuck about the holdout. Me neither. Still get a deal done. Uh, number three. Tyreek. I think it has yeah. for me. Again. It's just like it, this any, is very, any issue, Jack. That's cool. Yeah. Four. This is where I think you start thinking about things. I think you got to go Brees Hall. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was yeah. thinking yeah. too. Yeah. Right. I, I didn't yeah. think Jets. we were going to be aligned there. Yeah. Like, yeah. Let's move the, right along. The Number year, five. The year of the. The year of the loaded running back, and when I say loaded, there's really three with a tier two type with. There's three. Gibbs. Yeah, but like Gibbs, yeah. Jonathan Taylor, Saquon. These are guys that like if they just happen to a chance, they happen to go out of nuclear and they happen to finish as like an overall RB1 yeah. or the overall RB1 you wouldn't be too surprised by it but I do think the fourth pick has to be Brees Hall especially with Jamar also holding out and Jamar has two years left on his deal Chad Ochocinco also came out and said if he doesn't get a deal done he thinks Jamar might actually hold out really so that's of a concern in ESPN in the big ESPN league with Adam Schefter with all the field dates with everyone that knows shit Jamar dropped to the ninth pick wow Holy that scares shit. me that scares me. That's scary. They know That's, they know things. The that, fifth, they know more than me. But just a quick side note on that. Um, he's my keeper as the eleventh pick overall. <laughs> That's fine. Is that okay? That, That's fine. That's okay. Fine. Cool. The fifth pick. You're fucking scaring me. I'm gonna follow the same thing. Uh, Bijan. I'm I gonna go Bijan. Yeah. I, Again, I got no beef. Got no I don't. Beef. I'm not taking any chances. Manufactured touches for running backs all the time. It's yep. the easiest thing for them to score. Or when I say score, score in fantasy, I I think Bijan yeah. has to go there. Number six. I think that's this is kind of where this is where I have no idea what the fuck's yeah. going on. Okay, everyone say they're they're one on on three. Ready? Three, two, one. Jamar. Amon Ra. I don't. I, don't I know. actually don't hate the Amon Ra, but again, I'm we're talking about ceiling plays yeah. here. If Jamar gets back on the field, even with Tiggins there, I, I I just I can't miss out on Jamar again. Okay, I'm down. Yeah. I hate Jamar. I took him in leagues last year, and I hated him. Yeah, it was my I get first that. time owning you got him. Got burned. I, 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 I didn't. First so we go with Jamar at the sixth. Fine. I don't like it, but fine by me. Well, then seven for me is Amon Ra. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. The only fear I have with Amon Ra is like, was that his ceiling year last year? Might have been. I think Our, it might have been, but I'm happy with that. And I, I also think totally, totally. there might be something to prove to where he's like, I wasn't even a Pro Bowler last year. Like I should. Jesus. Yeah. That's crazy. crazy. He wasn't Pro. So, so Amon Ra said. Did you guys watch receiver? No. Eight. Eight. I Saquon and AJ Brown. I, I'm well. Jettis is still there. I was gonna say I'm still taking Jettis. Like Sam Darnold, he, he slings it. We, he's not great. By the way, they're gonna be playing the down a lot. They're in gonna games. be playing down. It's still Justin they're Jefferson. The ball. And I, I like Justin Jefferson more with Sam Darnold at quarterback than, than I did McCarthy. with JJ McCarthy. That's quarterback. Fair. Don't mind it. I think they're gonna let Sam Darnold air it out more. He's been in the league for five years now, yeah, six fuck years. It. Go play ball, kid. It's not gonna be the same safe game plan that I imagine they envisioned for uh, JJ McCarthy. I'm taking Jettis at the eight. I agree. I think you have to. Best receiver. I totally in football. forgot he was there. Yeah, you got to take him. Best yeah. receiver in football. Take the chance. The it's already the risk is already baked into the price. Yeah. Uh, at the nine spot, I think it's got to be AJ Brown. I'll be honest. Yeah, I hate him. 
I, he's, he's, he, <laughs> look, I'm like see, probably a good guy, like great football player. Don't like him in fantasy. Look what Keenan or look what uh, Kellen Moore did for Keenan Allen last year when he put him in the slot. Look what CD oh, yeah, did Moore's two years ago. AJ Brown Philly now in the slot. AJ Brown's been reported oh, moving around in the slot. Hate that. Devontae Smith should be slot I, boy. I expect AJ Brown. So I, I personally love AJ Brown there. I, I think he's a guy that with value. Agree or disagree? Um, I I like him. But it's fine, fine. I don't like him, but ninth pick. I'm Didn't following the wide receiver. Nine? Was that nine? Yeah. That was nine, yeah. Okay, 10 pick. I'm following wide receivers again. What are you going to say? Garrett Wilson. Garrett Wilson, hell yeah. yeah sure. yep. Taking the chance. I, again, he his ceiling is 1,500 yards, 120 catches this yep. year. Like we, he's, we, he's the guy. We yeah. target the fuck out of him, and that was when half the targets weren't on target. So he's going to get a lot more that are actually in his chest this season, and he's, he's going to put up. 11 pick, I think it's Jonathan Taylor. No, you're, so you don't think I'm taking one? No, I'm taking him over Jameer Gibbs, and the reason I'm taking him is because I know he's not in a timeshare. I get Anthony Richardson can take away from him within yeah. the five. Mm. But Jonathan Taylor is voter fatigue, right? Like we've seen him do it before. He's yep. healthy. I just would rather take Jonathan Taylor, a guy that's going to get all the touches. Fine. And then Jameer Gibbs twelve. Sure. That's so no Puka in the first for you. No Puka. No, no. Saquon. No. I, I I don't hate that. That's why I don't want to get into the twelfth spot or 11 or 12 is it's it's hairy there yeah. it's not clear yeah, i have 12 you could really fleet. swing and miss and the reason 12s. i don't want puka is because cooper cup being healthy yeah. i just like it's too expensive for me to take. yeah he's not going to put it you're basically if you're drafting puka in the first round you're expecting him to repeat his exactly. season it's from crazy last year yeah, all right well that was fun season i loved fucking nerding too, out as a reminder fantasy. college football is now live in the better picks app you can now play it download better play better picks use promo code caps off when you do also caps off merch is officially available with a link in our bio or if you are on tiktok Go to our TikTok shop. Awesome. We will see you on Monday. For I am incredibly, episode. incredibly horny to see my first projection points for, for the week. Like where it says like 128 at the bottom. Maybe Let's maybe fucking go. Love you. Yeah. Bye. 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 Caps Off is brought to you by Better. Starring Adam Spachnik, Jack Perotti, and this guy Pat right now who we don't know if we're officially giving a seat to. Cool. Make sure to check out our socials at Caps Off Pod on Instagram and Caps Off Podcast on TikTok. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at the link in the description. And as always, be sure to download better and play better picks with promo code CAPSOFF to play the best daily fantasy football app on the market.